now we play a round called Wheel of News, which involves everybody. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This is a stand-up challenge based on this news wheel dotted with topical of subjects and faces. We spin the wheel, and when it stops, anyone can step forward and try to make us laugh about the subject it has landed on. If I judge that a person has got a big enough laugh, he or she is safe and gets to sit down again. The first team to have all its players sitting down at the desk wins the round. So here goes. Let's spin the wheel. Well, Michael Howard, the Tory party leadership. Who wants to get in on that? Ah, like a shot. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> At the election, I announced my timetable for action. And here it is. I'm going. <laughs> very good. Oh, Rory, very much at that. <laughs> to be honest, you could have sat down after you did the face. Uh, <laughs> so let's spin the wheel again. OK, education. Who wants to go for that? Frankie's up. The, uh, the government's new education policy, apparently, is to make children stay at school till they're 18. It's just not living in the modern world, is it? 17-year-olds having to go to school. Who's going to pick their kids up from primary? <laughs> <laughs> the Catholic Church have got a big thing this week. They say they don't want sex education in schools because that's like giving the kids pornography as opposed to the traditional Catholic method of educating them, of actually shagging them. Yeah. <laughs> come, come on. Sex education at my school was a muttered warning about the janitor. <laughs> That's perfect. Frankie, sit down. Well done, you cool. Yeah. <laughs> Covered yourself in glory there. Let's have another look at the next story. OK, Asbos. Who wants to go in on Asbos? It's Linda. Yeah, I think people are a bit uh, down on Asbos, but you've got to remember, this, these are the only qualifications that some kids are going to get. <laughs> <laughs> well, Linda, sit down. Well done. What's our next topic? OK, ID cards. Who wants to come in on that? Jeremy. Well, these are interesting because the, uh, the defenders of ID cards say, well, we already have to carry lots of ID. You need to uh, establish your identity in order to establish your entitlement to uh, enter certain leisure centres or to claim benefit or to establish your entitlement to enter certain buildings. But this new card will establish your entitlement to go outside. <laughs> and, uh, people say, well, they're, they're a good idea because we had them in the Second World War. But in the Second World War, it was just a piece of cardboard that said, this is Mr Wilkins, he's not a German spy. <laughs> this, this will be this digitised, magnetised thing that says, this is Mr Wilkins, he may not be a German spy, but he's got a genetic heart defect, his sister's against GM crops, and he took a video late back to Blockbuster in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, please sit down. So, it's a tiebreak situation. I'm going to spin the wheel one more time. And I want the two remaining players, that's Hugh and John, to give me something on that one topic. You both get a go of it, and the audience essentially decides. So, let's spin the wheel. <laughs> OK, the nation's health. Uh, apparently, it's very important to stay healthy, to have five portions of fruit a day. I do that. I have half a packet of Starburst. <laughs> Uh, the Tories are very big on MRSA, which I found a bit surprising. I reckon most of them thought it was the way a posh man would pronounce the lead singer of the Smiths. <laughs> Just stand there, Hugh, because John is going to try to top that now. There is absolutely no need to worry about Britain's health because, as we've all learnt, Jamie Oliver is going to save us all. <laughs> and if Jamie Oliver has only taught me one thing, and he has, it's, <laughs> it's this, that an unhealthy lifestyle is like a homing pigeon. Yes, it's a lot of fun at the time, but one day it will track you down and it will kill you. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to give it to John, so John and his team are the winners.